Hi everybody, we got a lot of gig news, updates, and the winner of the leaky bag. Stay tuned. Here it comes! <laughs> First, I'm gonna go over a few of my friends' finds some gold. My friend Joe Binker, he lives down in Myrtle Beach. He's the one that actually named me the gig master. We used to go do a lot of ventures together. He moved down to Myrtle Beach and he decided he wanted to get into metal detecting. So he was talking to me about it, and I had an Equinox and he bought one of my old Equinoxes. I said, As long as you're not taking it underwater, I'll sell it to you. And he's not taking the head underwater. I don't trust him underwater, but he's not. But he got two gold rings this past week. Congratulations, Joe. I think he's got the gold fever now. Uh, he's down, like I say, in Myrtle Beach. That's a lot of beach to hit down there. We have to get down there and check it out with him one of these days for sure. I can't wait to get down there. Uh, another one of my subscribers, Mark Shea, he commented last week on a, uh, one of my videos, says, he got a bunch of gold. I said, when you say bunch, how much? So he emailed me. I'll put a picture up there. He said, it was during a three-day period, day one, he got a Pandora bracelet, a small silver ring. Day two, 13 cent. Man, that sounds like one of our hunts. But day three, he hit the mother load. Three gold 14 karat rings. One 14 karat earring. One 14 karat bracelet. And one broken 18 karat onyx bracelet unbelievable i tell you it kind of goes to show you like he got 13 cent on it and then the next time he gets all that you just don't know what you can get on the next hit that's what makes metal detecting so interesting is you just you just never know and you gotta get your cool over top of it you know you can hunt all day long get nothing all of a sudden one target will do it and the gig master is off the gold slump list yesterday i had a beautiful uh, 13 gram, 14 karat men's wedding band. Oh my God. I, when I found it, I just knew that thing was going to be heavy. 13 grams is, I think it's 13 point whatever, you know. But anyway, I'm glad to be out of that slump. I hadn't found one in a while now. And uh, hopefully, it's not. that's not the end of it. I hope we're going to keep getting up. But I tell you what, down at the main area, the beach area, is really... I don't know, saying it in. Uh, we got a hurricane coming up, so that might open up something. We're definitely going to get some waves and all from it, so that could definitely do it. Um, we did do a little crabbing a few days ago and picked up about 100 crabs. Uh, me and Gene, he took some home clean and uh, cooked them up. I took some home and cleaned them up. Uh, I picked three pounds of crab meat out. I put a picture up there. Made me some devil crabs and crab cakes. Oh my gosh. They are so good. I love them. We're going to be going a few more times, too, before this year's out. Doing some crabbing, for sure. Um, the butterfly. A lot of y'all like me to tell you about what's happening to butterflies. It's really cool. Um, y'all seen me in the past years. I got my cages where I put them in and fed them and raised them. But this year, we've let them do the natural thing. Now, I've got some good bushes up there. There is enough leaves out there that they can uh, maintain themselves right out there. They've learned to crawl right beneath my overhang and... and uh, I've had, I don't know how many chrysalises out there and butterflies fly off. Anyway, I got one quick video here. I'll show you. Check it out. All right, we got another group of big caterpillars ready to go turn to chrysalises for too long. There's two. There's one more over here. Underneath here somewhere. I saw him. Oh, here he is. He's up in the underside there. If I don't see him or not there. There he is right there. Anyway, there's a couple more smaller ones on those other bushes. But most of the ones up here have uh, have hatched and flown off. That one right there has not. That one won't be long. There was one over here that did on this one that's still. Y'all remember right there. And coming down here, you can see all the ones that have hatched in the butterflies. I see them out here every now and then hatching. And there's one right there that has not hatched yet right there. So he'll be coming out here in the next day or two. Right there. And the one in his hatch. Pretty cool. And we got the hummingbird right here. Check him out right there looking at me. Oh, there he goes right there. I'm sitting here looking at the, butter, at the butter, uh, butterflies and the things. And he's coming over here just checking me out here. While I'm standing here checking 
The caterpillar's out. He's pretty cool, isn't he? I got a lot of little activity going on in the backyard here. It's pretty cool. Alright, guys. Let me get in here and see if I can talk to this guy here. Nature is pretty cool. I, I love watching nature. The hummingbird out there and all. The hummingbird came right up when I was filming my butterfly. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Uh, anyway, let's get to the leaky bag. I know a lot of y'all sitting there saying, what are you going to tell me about the leaky bag? Who the winner is? Y'all ready? Let's do it. Here it is. All right, who's ready to pick the winner of the leaky bag? We'll we use a little different tool this time because the other one did not want to work for me. So here we go. I've never used this one before. So what we're going to do, in the YouTube video URL right here, we've got it in there. Include replies. Uh, by default, top local color included. Filter duplicate users. All right, we're going to filter the duplicates, if there's any duplicates. Well, I'm picking one, so that doesn't matter. So it looks like we got everything done here. Let's pick a winner. Here we go. Oh, I'm not a robot. All right, so I guess uh, YouTube comment picker, did it pick it? It did. The winner is Brenda Champ. Congratulations, Brenda. My husband would love that leaky bag. Please thank the guy who has given that to you to share with us. And apparently some more in there, but I can't read it. doesn't show it. And let's see, 197 comments on that one. Congratulations, Brenda. We'll get that bag right to you. Go ahead and send me your mailing address to gigmaster2718 at gmail.com. Congratulations. Congratulations. I tell you what, I'm really liking the leaky bag. Uh, John Boy said it first. He didn't think he liked it, but now he loves it. Um, I'm hoping the guy in Vancouver is going to keep making them. I mean, he's doing this on his own and all. So um, keep getting up, man. They're awesome. We really like them. They're really built good. Um, it's not something that you uh, the quality is much higher than anything you normally would buy. So good job on that. Um, I did have another Ryan from RC Digs contacted me. And he he wanted to send me a uh pod holder for the Deus 2. I told him I don't have the Deus 2 anymore, but a lot of my subscribers have it. And if you want to give one away on my channel, uh, I, I would do that. So that's what I'm doing. I have not tried this, but I know when I had the Deus 2, one of my biggest fears is that pod popping off and losing it, either in the water or uh, in the woods. And they give you a little string that you hook to it, but still that could break. And, and just popping off is a pain because it happened to me multiple times uh, even sitting in the car pops off, or on, you know, in the woods, crawling around on the trunk pops off. It's a pain. He's designed or 3D printed a, uh, and I'll put some pictures up here as I'm talking about it. Uh, 3D printed a holder, and it looks like you put it in the holder, uh, after you mount it, you put it in the holder, and it's got a piece that goes over top, and you screw it down tight on the top, and it locks it in. Um, it looks like it's a very good design, solid. I haven't tested it, but just looking at it, it looks good. But he's going to give one away to one of y'all to test out. And what I'm hoping to do is um, one of y'all gets it and tests it out and maybe get, sends us some pictures or video of how it works for you, whoever wins it. Uh, so anyway, uh, they do come in different colors. And uh, it's, they got he's got a right and a left-handed one. So uh, what's going to happen is whoever wins it will call Ryan and tell him what he, what, which kind they want and the color they want and he's going to make it and ship it to you. Uh, you gotta have a secret word to put in the video in the comment. It's gonna be R C Dig. R C Digs. R C D I G S. Put that in the comment and that way when I'm going through it, I'll know you want one of those. There's no need in putting it for if you don't have a day or two, don't 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 put that in the comment. Uh, that way we'll get somebody that really can use it and test it and let us know how it works. Because uh, I'm not gonna be using it, so I would like to have somebody to test it out. So R C Digs, if you got a day or two. Put that in the comment below, and we'll pick a winner next week and uh, get you all out there and do some testing on it for us. Um, all right, well, man, I think that's going to be about it. Hope you all enjoy coming along with me on this a little update. We had a lot, we got a lot going on every week. There's always something going on every week, man. I'm telling you. Um, I'm enjoying life, though. I hope you all getting out and enjoying, enjoying things out there and finding some gold and having lots of luck. All right, appreciate everybody coming along. Don't forget to click like, comment below, share, and subscribe to the Gigmaster. And we'll see you tomorrow on another adventure. Stay tuned.